Three-year-old Finney Simon was hospitalized after being attacked at a Home Depot in Downers Grove. This Doberman pincher accused of biting the girl's face. She started screaming. I saw the blood coming out. Surveillance footage shows it happened at the checkout counter. Finney's brother approaches first. He was holding his hand down um, to let the dog sniff. Marina Simon says her daughter approached next and the dog bit her face. You see the girl fall to the ground. Simon said she then called out for help. Can somebody please give me a paper towel? My daughter's bleeding. A checkout clerk gave her a towel and another clerk appears to help too, but she says not a single Home Depot manager came to the scene. I had this crying child laying there screaming, bleeding. As she took care of her daughter's wounds and after only one minute passed, the dog's owners picked up their goods and left. And nobody from Home Depot uh, stopped them? Correct. They just walked out. It, it is upsetting though. I mean, come on, you should have more sense than that and, you know, exchange insurance information or whatever it may be. Since no one from the store stopped the couple, the Simons say they had no immediate way to find out if the dog had rabies. Plus, they want to know why Home Depot employees even allowed the dog inside with shoppers. A warning sticker on the entrance door clearly says, no pets allowed. Though we found videos of dogs at various Home Depots. It's the biggest dog I've ever seen in my life. They don't enforce their no dogs allowed policy. Attorney Kurt Lloyd, who represents the Simon family, says there have been dog bites at other Home Depot stores too. Home Depot is just a recipe for disaster. There's forklifts going by, there's customers picking up goods, dropping things. Ten days after the incident, police tracked down the couple with the dog, Norris Ingridson and Emily Trossel. Trossel, according to a police report the Simons filed, said she had brought the dog to the store many times before. Again, Home Depot has these no pets allowed stickers on all their stores nationwide. Emily, a little girl was bit in the face by the dog. Do you have anything to say about that? Finney's parents hope she heals without scarring. She has pretty horrible nightmares and recovers from her new fear of dogs. Home Depot says at the time it gave store managers the discretion to allow dogs despite the no pet sign. Trossel told police the dog barked and its teeth scratched the girl. She also said she apologized to the family. Simon says it was clearly a bite and that there was no apology. No charges or a lawsuit have been filed. A Home Depot statement says the company is working with the Simon family. They also say they are now asking people with dogs to kindly take their dogs outside. Robin Erica. Okay. Thank you, Dave.